Centennial Beard Growing Contest. Uh, tonight we have, uh, I believe there's nine contestants? Eleven. Eleven contestants. Uh, quite a grizzly bunch we have here. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to go over uh, some of the items that our committee uh, members have been working on. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through a list here of all the different things that's going to be happening with the Susco Centennial this year. Uh, we're going to be having a style show and a king and queen coronation and that'll be Sunday, June 24th. Monday is going to be the first clue to the medallion hunt. Uh, Tuesday event is going to be a model airplane demonstration at the I-94 Industrial Park. Wednesday at 7 o'clock is going to be a soapbox derby. And also Miss Melrose pageant will be held at the Melrose Auditorium. Uh, the carnival is going to kick off from 6 to 12 on Thursday along with the Kitty Parade. Uh, we have the Girl Scouts here tonight. They're setting up the Kitty Parade uh, and we expect them to do a fantastic job with that. Uh, we also are going to have duck races. Um, in the past we've had duck races before at some of the different organizations put that on. We do have a 42 inch plasma screen TV that is going to, going to be first place for the duck races along with some other prizes. Uh, the uh, Missouri River Energy Services is going to be sponsoring disco night uh, for people that are going to be dress, dressed up and, uh, and play disco music. There's going to be prizes and things given out for that also. Friday night, Bean Bag Tournament. Uh, Lester Van Horn is going to be here for a dog training seminar. Uh, teach people how to train their dogs or hunting dogs. Uh, the Idol Contest will be taking place also on Friday night. And we're going to have Diamond back here on the big stage on Friday night also. Along with that, uh, food, beer garden, carnival also for that night. Saturday, the schedule looks 5K run, Little League tournament. Uh, we got a huge parade that's going to be taking place. We've already got two marching bands uh, signed up to go, which this is very early, so uh, it's going to, be, going to be a terrific parade. Strongman competition, kickball tournament, uh, St. Mary's Mass, uh, and obviously we're going to have a, a lot of German guests from Germany going to be coming to help celebrate. Uh, they'll be here for most of the week. Uh, Raging Ram River Band will, will open up for the big Restless Heart. Uh, tickets went on sale for Restless Heart last weekend. Uh, about a fourth of the reserve tickets have been sold. Uh, there's only uh, 300 tickets left along with the tickets. If you buy a reserve ticket, you get a free bag, complimentary bag share with so get to the Melrose Credit Union or the Freeport State Bank and get your ticket purchased early. Uh, we do have a, uh, an approval from the Pentagon for a military flyover uh, and hopefully we can get some F-16 fighter jets to come over. Uh, we're still working on that yet. And at 8 o'clock Saturday night, Restless Heart will take the main stage. Uh, along with all these events, there's going to be camping available, so tell your friends, uh, family members. Uh, we're going to have a, a, a big party here going on in Melrose. Uh, uh, followed by fireworks and also rest of the Raging River Band will, will perform until midnight on Saturday. Sunday we have a big uh, day scheduled of, with, uh, with speeches, uh, closing ceremonies, uh, crosscut competition, uh, potluck uh, dinners. We're going to be having carriage rides throughout the community uh, to go to the, some of the historical places uh, throughout the community. Uh, we're working on having a, an open School, so people that want to come back to their hometown and, and visit the school, they can they can do that also. And uh, along with some more closing ceremonies, the Luther, there's going to be a Lutheran service down at the park too uh, at 9:30 on, on Sunday. So we have a full schedule of events from the week of June 24th through the 30th. So anyway, let's move on to our beer growing contest. Uh, we do have a number of contestants, and they are going to be judged on. Uh, Let's see, I read it here. Uh, longest beard, uh, and let's see here. Overall beard, best overall beard, longest beard, most original, best effort, and, uh, and the thickest beard. So though we have our panel of judges here that are gonna be doing the, the judging on that, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna invite the, the contestants here uh, one at a time and do a little interview with them and the first contestant that is up is Larry Drugsma. Larry, have a chair and a hat. 
Are you Blair? <laughs> Larry is contestant number one. Uh, Larry, just tell us a little bit about yourself. What, uh, where do you live and your family and what you do? Well, we live uh, just a few blocks north of here in town, and I teach high school up to school here. Been here now in Melrose for about 16 years, I think. And I teach math up there. I've coached football and wrestling and a little bit of golf. Family members, do you have kids? Yeah, I've got two kids. My uh, son, Tony, is in eighth grade, and my daughter, Olivia, is in fifth grade. And my wife, Mary Beth, uh, teaches uh, early childhood family education in the local districts. Okay, how long have you been growing your beard? Um, we started the uh, first week in January, I think, is when I shaved off my goatee and had my picture taken. <laughs> we do have a picture of Larry without his beard. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had it. Um, Are you anxious to get a shaving? Uh, I think my wife is more anxious to have a shaving. <laughs> Why did you decide to uh, join the beard growing company? Well, I, I suppose I've had a beard in the past and always kind of enjoyed having one in the winter. It's nice and warm, and it was sounded like fun. Great. Larry Drews, bye, everybody. <laughs> Next contestant, Phil Frerichs. I think they grow the beer, then they shave the hair off the top. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> but they had a... Okay, Bill Ferrers. Yes. I don't know anything about you. You're going to have to tell me what, what I need to know. Uh, my dairy farm with my father, uh, about four miles north of Melrose here. And I uh, thought it would be a fun thing to do. Uh, my grandpa won this 50 years ago, so... Oh, so you feel you got an advantage. And, well, I had an obligation. <laughs> I had an obligation. So what do you, what do, you do? You, you're, you're farming? We dairy farm. Okay. Are you married? Nope. Not married, huh? Nope. Okay. And what made you decide to do that besides? I, mean, just, uh, I worked out and dairy farming was what suited me best. Okay. And then you went to school here in Melrose? Yes. What year did you graduate from Melrose? I graduated in 99. 99. Okay. Anything else I should know about you? Not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Philip Ricks, everybody. <laughs> Our next contestant, Bird Ferrics. You're not gonna tell me that you shave your head too, are you? No, it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Burn is a familiar face around around the city of Melrose Town. About yourself. I farm with my son uh, Phil, uh, four miles north of Melrose. Uh, I have uh, four children. Uh, our oldest uh, works for the wood shop in Albany, and uh, they just blessed us with our fourth grandchild uh, oh, yesterday. They also had a set of twins, and then um, our uh, second son is working for as a herdsman for Sam and Jane Salzo. Every, I think everybody knows them. And our youngest daughter, Vicki, married Tom Herkenoff, and they live in Freeport, and she works for Stearns Electric as their um, communications specialist. Um, my wife, Doreen, is a nurse at the Melrose Clinic. She's Dr. Melling's nurse. And um, you probably want to know why I did it. We thought we had my dad convinced to do it again, and uh, we would have had three generations trying this. And, for some reason, dad backed up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't want to wipe, wipe the boys out of the competition, I'm well, sure. Well, uh, I don't know, but it would, <laughs> I, we really w would have liked to have seen the three generations do it. Okay. Uh, you know, this is the sesquicentennial, and you've lived in this area for many years. Well, what do you like best about living in this area? Oh, I, Melrose is a friendly uh, community. Um, uh, went through high school here. Uh, Anybody that comes to Melrose has to almost like it. I, I think so. Okay. And I forgot to show this last picture. Of, actually, I'm going to show that one first. This is Phil before. Okay. And we have Herm. 
before. Okay. Thanks for wearing it. What do you think about wearing the hat? What do you think about wearing it? Yeah. <laughs> Next contestant we have is Mike Hellman. I know Mike because he's in the same business as I am. Wastewater, wastewater operators. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Mike. Uh, I've worked for MDP now for about 29 years. Been in Melrose here about uh, 10 or 10 years. Live north of town. I'm married, have one daughter, 15. My wife works at the school. Uh, like fishing. For it. Mike was one of the uh, the few people that got uh, interviewed by KSAX TV, and he kind of told told them that he was thinking about putting beads and stuff in his beard. I was kind of disappointed to see that. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> In pan out. <laughs> and uh, why did you do this? Uh, I like growing beer once in a while in the winter, so I just thought I'd just try something, maybe get some free, you know, win something. You, know. you look nice in that hat. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a picture, picture of Mike before the contest. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Mike around the clock. <laughs> Next up, we have Jerry Kuhlminers. Have a seat, Jerry. I don't think too many people around Melrose need to uh, have too much of an explanation about you. I think everybody pretty much knows you. Oh, boy, is that about it? Or you're a member of the fire department for many yeah, years. Okay. And well, anyway, put the hat on. You're not getting out of that. <laughs> Just tell tell the citizens of Melrose, you know, a little bit about yourself, what you do, about your family. And well, I work for the post office Sox center. I've been there 19 years, going to be this summer, and four kids. My wife is retired. Retired, but I enjoy my job. And, and I got six grandchildren. And I have no visions of winning this unless you got a prize for the oldest guy. Because I think I'll win that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife retired a couple years ago, and I uh, got six grandchildren. And I just I thought there'd be more uh, guys in there. That's why I went. I thought there'd be about a hundred people in here. And here we find out there's about fourteen. Well, All right. Uh, well, why did you decide you were going to do this? Just for kicks. It would be part of the program. You know, part of the city. Okay. And it wasn't the fact that you seen on TV with that funny hat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here's a picture of Jerry before. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Okay. Next up, we have Mike Corton. It's a good thing I'm not judging because Mike is a relative of mine. <laughs> Almost didn't recognize him with the beard in there. <laughs> Put the hat on, Mike. <laughs> All right, Mike, uh, uh, you have ties to this area. and uh, Just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you like to do and about your family. Uh, well, I'm married and got a wife, Teresa. And, uh, Got uh, two dogs, two Dotsons, and a cat. <laughs> They're part of the family. And I uh, uh, drove truck for 35 years. And uh, I'm over at uh, Light Hall at Jenny O. I'm driving over there now. So. Yeah. And, and you have a special event coming up this weekend, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I do, yeah. The <laughs> 11th uh, March is my birthday. Uh, and your, mother, and your mother's birthday. And my mom's birthday, 90th. Yeah. And they're, they're celebrating her 90th birthday, and that'd be my aunt Loretta. Yeah. So, uh, um, and what made you decide to go into this contest? Uh, well, I grew a beard here, I don't know, a couple years ago, about, uh, yeah, about a year and a half, and I kind of liked it. And uh, they told me, well, I should shave it off. And, and I shaved it off, and 
I got to looking at myself and I thought, well, I look a little bit better with a beard and a lot younger with a beard. So I, thought, <laughs> I can get it. <laughs> so I thought, well, yeah. grow it again. Here's a picture of Mike. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> the next contestant, Jean Lahr. Jean and I have some ties too. We used to be in the same business together a few years back, anyway. Yeah. Well, Jean, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and your family, and. I'm a. Uh, I'm from uh, Gregel. I live in Gregel. I used to run the city of Gregel. That's how me and Tim actually met and uh, do the same thing. I was superintendent there for 10 years. And now I work for Infra Rogers. And I inspect pipes, clean pipes, storm pipes, sewers, water, travel, seven state area. And uh, me and my son actually, he talked me into it and then he backed out. <laughs> Dad, I'll park the truck. And I got out by the place where we got the picture taken. And he went and parked the truck and he never came in. <laughs> so I went out there to get him. He goes, no, nah, I'm not going to do it yet. And I hear it was a bet between he could grow a beard faster than I could. So, but anyway, my daughter and my son both went to high school in, in uh, Melrose. And uh, in fact, my daughter just got married here in February down in Florida. And uh, she's a nurse and uh, working in St. Ben's. And my son is working in the same company I do, travel to the 7th state area. And, uh, I do the cleaning and he does the televising behind me. Oh, and, great. Uh, you work together. Yeah. Well, that's super. Yeah. And uh, so everything's going good. And my wife is Michelle Lark over there. And uh, she works at Stearns and does house cleaning. So, in uh, Throning there. Oh. So. Here's a picture of Jean. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Next up, we have John Renfer. How are you doing, John? Not bad. How are you? Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I know a little bit about you, but the. I've been in Charles. I've been here for 17, 18 years. I work at Ripstone Cabinets in St. Paul. Um, single. That's about it. That's about it. And you, you live in Melrose? Yep. No. For those of you that don't know, uh, John was the winner of the vehicle down at the uh, Freedom Fest celebration one year. How many years ago was that? Six years ago. That was six years ago. It's about time you win again. That vehicle's getting pretty old. Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, one, one thing I didn't notice with all the other contestants, you know, they, I asked them why they joined the contest, and not one of them said that they, they were in, into it for the prize money or the, or the tickets. You know, what, what's that all about? <laughs> So your grandpa was, did, a, did a beer growing contest? Here's a picture of John. Okay, thanks John. <laughs> Next on the list, Ron Rush. Hey. How are you doing Ron? Very good, thanks. Good that hat on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> or, Ron, I don't believe you're originally from Melrose, are you? No, no I'm from Little Falls. Little Falls. My wife and I moved here. She got a job at the school as a teacher. And I also got a job as a pair there. So I do work at the school. And I know Ron's got an interesting background. Uh, tell, tell the folks here what you used to do for that. I, I still do. Oh, you still um, do? Um, I climb and paint flag poles and towers and stuff. My dad and I have been doing it for 40 years. So. Painting water towers. Water like towers, towers, towers. And you, you mentioned to me one time I had a discussion about uh, something in Australia that, that yep. you've done. Yep, I, I like to pick rocks. We go rock picking and stuff. Travel the world and do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you came, to, you, came to, you came to the right place if you yeah. like to pick rocks. <laughs> um, since you're not from this area and, and you lived here for how many years? In the about six, six years. Six years. Yep. Well, what do you what do you like about the city? Well, uh, just area? a nice, warm community, comfortable. It's a nice setting. 
it's a nice place to raise your family. Okay. Yeah. And uh, wh why did you decide to join the contest? Not because Larry. Oh, um, I got these guys are bugging me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and for the prizes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you think the citizens no. of the Melrose? Oh, just they're all real nice people, and it's a fun community. Okay. Just yeah. picture. And I like to contribute. Good. Picture, Ron. Mm. Thanks a lot, Ron. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Next on the list, Dan Schaefer. Boy, you look nothing like that at all. Let me see that Must be wearing contacts. That's not me. <laughs> That's not you, huh? No, it's the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan, I don't believe I know you. No, you I'm uh, new in town. Okay. Uh, moved over the summer. I'm teaching chemistry at the high school, and uh, so I just started meeting people this summer. And very, very friendly people in the community, and I've been pretty lucky to work at the school where the students. And the parents are real supportive of education. And uh, it's been a pretty good year. So, what do you teach? I teach chemistry and, and ninth grade science and physics. Okay, and why, which grades? Um, ninth grade for the um, science, and then chemistry is 11th and 12th graders, and physics is mostly 12th graders. Okay, tell us a little bit about your family. Well, I'm, I'm single, so I guess. The other single guy over there didn't admit that the reason we're in the competition is for the publicity. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe to, to get a girlfriend, is that what you're saying? To, to get national exposure. National exposure would be good. I, I expect we'll be on national TV here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so what do you think about the Melrose area? I mean, what, what made you decide to come to Melrose? Just a, a, a well, I was... Uh, I was certainly looking at uh, a number of jobs all over Minnesota, so and as far as where you can find a work teaching chemistry, there, there aren't too many chemistry teachers out there, so that was a little picky, but then uh, when I came to Melrose and, and visited, it's, uh, it's a pretty good area, and of course I listened to Prairie Home Companion, so I knew I was exactly where everyone is well above average. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's not been proven wrong yet. <laughs> Great. And did you did you succeed uh, Bruce Carlson? Carlson yes, I did. I'm, I'm uh, teaching exactly the same things that he did in exactly the same room. You got some big I, shoes to fill. You know, my my feet are not not quite big enough. So. <laughs> picture of Dan. I'm not sure if this is the, the same picture of him or not, but I just have to take his word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dan. <laughs> Last but not least, no, no, no. there's one more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carl. Carl. Oh, Carl. Carl made it. Okay. Gary Tanyan. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too uh, bad. Are you retired yet or? Semi. Semi-retired. <laughs> yes. That means you drive semi and you're retired? Not too bad. That's a little too small for me, too. <laughs> uh, for, the, for those of you that the few people out there that don't know you, but you can kind of uh, tell the citizens of Melrose a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, I uh, sold this about a year and a half ago. It was Tenyon Oil and LP, and we had that for 30 years. My wife was in daycare for 29 and a half years, so I beat her. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was in the police reserve for 18 years, uh, in the uh, Army National Guard out of Sox Center for 25 years, and prior to that, it was resident of Gray Eagle, Minnesota, so not far from home. Okay. You, you have your kids are married, right? Uh, I have two uh, kids. Uh, my son is not married. He's still single and available, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter is married and has two uh, kids, uh, grandkids, a uh, boy and a girl. So I like, being, I like being a grandpa. Great, but it's hell to go to a grandma. <laughs> it's hell to go to grandma? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and why did you decide to join them? Actually, my wife talked me into it. Do that. Uh, yeah, she wants the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you do everything your wife tells you? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a picture of Gary before. Yeah, let's give Gary a round of applause. <laughs> and 
And we do have one more. We got a late comer, stuck in traffic, no doubt. Yes. <laughs> Carl Overman. Okay, Carl, let's let's hear a little bit about yourself. Uh, like I said, my name is Carl Overman. I'm 34 years old, uh, single. <laughs> but I have a girlfriend for six and a half years now, so. So that's almost not considered single. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a lifelong dairy farmer and resident of Melrose. Well, uh, farmer for 16 years now. The group of Melrose. Okay. And uh, where's your farm at? Is it like north of town? Or? Uh, it's about a quarter mile closer to Melrose and Vernon Ferris. This is not <laughs> here. Next door neighbors look nice. Three miles north. Okay. So do you get along with Vernon then? Um. Oh yes, we're along. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you decide to uh, join the contest? Well, I read it in the paper, and uh, I figure if people don't participate in activities in the so towns have for you, they're not going to keep doing activities for you, so I thought, well, easy thing to do, I'll join it and see what happens. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, the, 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 the citizens of Melrose, you know, we need, we need their participation, especially in this big celebration, because this celebration is our celebration, you know, the citizens, and, and we are very blessed and, and happy that, that you guys took the time to, uh, to join this competition and have fun with us. and. Uh, is there anything else that, that the citizens of Melrose need to know about you? <laughs> well, hopefully this motivates me to do the 5K this summer from Melrose, so I've been around 10 years. Carl Overman, before and after. All right, thanks, Carl. Boy, we know we got some tough competition. And now it's going to be a tedious job up to our judges uh, to be able to go through this. Uh, like I said, we're, we're going to be judging on best overall beer, longest beer, thickest beer, most original beer, and best effort. Uh, the prizes, I'm not sure if I explain the prizes. The best overall beer will be actually the, the, the granddaddy of them all. The prize is $100 and two tickets to the Restless Heart concert. Second prize is going to be the longest beard and the prize money for that is $50 and also two tickets to the Restless Heart concert. And then we have three more categories, thickest beard, most original beard, and best effort. And those three categories will, will receive two, two tickets to the Restless Heart concert. So judges, it's, it's basically up to you and we'll, we'll take probably five or ten minutes to, uh, to be able to vote and then we'll tally the scores and then we'll be back to, to uh, hand out the prizes. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. The uh, judges have tallied up their score and we have some winners. And when I, once I call the winners out, you come up and uh, I'll give you your, your prize. And the winners, uh, don't go too far. We want to take a snapshot for the paper. Uh, for all the, the five winners that we're going to have, and we're going to we're going to uh, announce the winners in backwards order, so the uh, the, uh, the biggest prizes last. So here we go. Best effort. We have a tie for best effort. We have a tie between John Rupfer and Dan Schaefer. And since there's a tie, you will both be getting each two tickets to rest his heart. So come on up. I'll get you your ticket, so I don't know where you live. Oh, okay. Okay? Congratulations. The next category we have is most original beer. And that prize goes to Jerry Miners. <laughs> I think you felt sorry with me. I'm the oldest guy here. Right? <laughs> I guess here he is. Yeah. So, uh, judges, what did you think was most original? It's not his age. <laughs> 
Okay, well, this, this really shocked me, right? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I all owe you a beer or a coffee now. <laughs> The next category we have is the thickest beard. And I just want to tell you guys, before you come up on camera, they say that the camera puts on 10 pounds, but you know, the way you guys look here, I don't think you're going to notice that. <laughs> <laughs> thickest beard goes to Ron Rush. Hey! <laughs> All right, now the two big prizes. For the longest beard, which is $50 in cash, and two tickets to Restless Heart goes to Gary Tenyon. <laughs> and last, <laughs> you got to stretch that a little bit. Last but not least, best overall beard, which is worth $100 in cash, and two tickets to the Restless Heart concert goes to Gene Lahr. Does that beard stop right here or do just keep on going down? Right. <laughs> Congratulations. Right, now we'd like the winners to come on up for a, for a photograph. Come up to the front here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>